Welcome back to Fabulous Detailing, where we specialize in detailing lawnmowers. No, actually, that's not true, but we are going to do it in this video. Let's do it. So here on the Fab Auto Mode Detailing YouTube channel, uh, we typically make detailing videos. 95% of our videos are about detailing. Um, some videos are about mechanical, not very often, but I'm a mechanic, it's what I do for a living. Uh, that's what puts uh, food on the table and a roof over our head. And detailing I just do as a hobby on the side, but it's actual passion of mine, it's something I absolutely love to do. So if that is something that interests you guys, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And then right next to that subscribe button, there is a little bell, you ring that bell, and then every time I upload a video, you get notified immediately. So in this video, I just bought a 2019 brand new uh, Z540R John Deere zero turn mower. It's a 60 inch mower. The new house I live at has two acres of land. I also mowed two acres of land at my grandparents' house about a quarter mile up the road. So I went from mowing less than a quarter of an acre to mowing four and my old mower just wasn't cutting it. I needed something bigger, something smoother because the lot, an old farm lot is what they are and they have a lot of uh, moles and everything else. And the other one was really just beating me up. So I wanted to get something bigger, something that's gonna mow faster. It's definitely a faster machine, but has really big tires on it to give it a smoother ride. Uh, a lot of you guys know my wife works at a John Deere dealer. So I get a really good discount on John Deere uh, equipment. So it was a no brainer to buy a John Deere versus buy something else because of the discount that I get. And that's why I bought this. So what we're gonna do in the video, we are going to protect it. Uh, you guys are gonna think that's stupid. Oh, Fab, why are you gonna protect a lawnmower? These things are so expensive. And I want to protect my investment, make this last as long as I possibly can. And being that it's brand new, uh, the inside of the deck has nothing on it. No grass, no dirt, nothing. All I have to do is ceramic coat it and hopefully no grass or dirt will stick to it. Cause as you guys know, when you mow, if that starts getting all clumped up and stuff, it's really hard for it to actually shoot the grass out. It just gets stuck in there. It doesn't cut very well. So I want to ceramic coat that. I'm gonna ceramic coat the whole thing. Um, and then I think I'm gonna use the turtle wax, ceramic uh, black wax, ceramic acrylic black wax, I'm sorry on the black plastics. And that's gonna be about it for the video. I just wanna show you guys uh, the new mower and ceramic coating it, what it's gonna look like. It's kind of a video I didn't think I'd ever make, but I was like, what the heck? I'm, I'm doing it, it's brand new, and maybe somebody else will wanna do something like this too. Maybe helpful to you guys. So let's get this video going. So here is the new mower. Now I wanna show you guys something. People have been getting on and off of this before I bought it, you know, cause at the lot, seeing if they wanted it. So it's got scuff marks, but this happens on mowers. I'm not gonna do a paint correction, it's a lawnmower. But I want to protect and preserve this paint the best that I can. And uh, that's why we're doing what we're doing today. I love the wheels. Really sets the mower off, the spoked wheels. Big knobby tires. There's just so much paint on this thing, all the way around here, that I just wanna get protected. Got the Kawasaki engine. Uh, the ceramic acrylic black wax I'm gonna use on the plastics, like I said earlier. Everything else is going to get a ceramic coating. I left the plastic on the seat because I got this delivered yesterday while I was at work. I left it on there because I want to protect the seat until I ceramic coat the seat as well. So, and the rubber here, I'm going to take that off so I can clean underneath there because you don't want water standing underneath rubber, especially in a state like where I live or really anywhere because it will start to rust eventually. So I want a ceramic coat underneath there as well. Okay, so I'm not going to film or record me doing this, but we need to prep the surface, strip off anything that possibly might be on there. We're going to use Adam's surface prep because we're going to be using the Adam's ceramic paint coating. Um, I'm not going to film me doing this because it's pretty easy. You spray it on. It's basically isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol, IPA, and just wipe it off. That's all you do. Then we'll apply the paint coating. I will uh, film me doing that. And then on the plastics, like I said, the ceramic acrylic black wax from Turtle Wax. And like I suspected, I took these off and look, there was water standing under this one right here and that's what worries me so definitely put the paint coating on there and we should be good all right so i went ahead and ran with the paint prep or surface prep whatever you want to call it and everything is nice and stripped down just in case they had any type of wax or anything on here i have no idea if they do so now we're going to apply the coating now uh, some of this will most likely be most of it will be in like a voiceover type thing um, that way i can actually just get this done i got a lot of stuff to do today still and uh, we're just gonna go from there, but I'm gonna start in section. So I'm gonna do the front, uh, the footrest, and down here, uh, I guess you'd consider that just the bottom, I guess, of the mower. Um, and we'll just go from there. And I'm having a hard time keeping the stuff off of it. I keep blowing it off and just 
keeps coming back, so it is going to be as good as it's going to get. Now, I ran out of little block applicators, so I'm going to just use a regular microfiber applicator. This is brand new, um, and we're just going to, I'll show you. Hoping I don't have to put my mask on, but I might have to. So what you're going to do, or what I'm going to do, we're just going to kind of, we don't need a lot. That's probably good enough right there. That's probably good enough to do this whole front. Put the cap back on. So I wasn't sure how I planned on editing these videos as far as doing voiceovers and stuff like that because it's just a lawnmower. I just thought it'd be cool to bring to you guys, show you guys something a little bit different that you don't normally see. Um, sorry about my jeans there. Those are my weekend jeans that I wear around the garage, uh, detailing, yard work, stuff like that. Stuff I don't care if I'm down on my knees, getting dirty. As you can see, my knee is protruding through there. <laughs> this was a difficult part of applying the ceramic coating because as you can see, those holes in the, uh, the footrest are so water can get through. It's also so you don't slip. Uh, and you had I had to kind of move that microfiber applicator around those holes and then the microfiber towel here was catching on it when I was removing it. But I did wait three minutes um, before removing the ceramic coating. I waited till I started seeing it to rainbow over 90% and then I start removing. Never did I imagine that the wheels would be a big part of why I bought this lawnmower when I started searching for lawnmowers and I saw these on the lot and I was like, I gotta have those. Those are really, really cool. I mean, it's just a lawnmower. I know I keep saying that, but uh, I wanna protect it. I want everything to look as good as possible. I try to take care of every single thing that I own. And these wheels turned out great. I was really surprised that when they delivered the mower that I had tire shine on the tires. I thought that was pretty cool. I know some people are going to tell me I used way too much ceramic coating on this lawnmower, which is fine. Uh, I really don't care. I wanted a nice, thick application of the ceramic coating back here on the engine protector or the engine guard, whatever you want to call it, because uh, right there is where the exhaust is going to uh, vent out, and that's going to get really hot when this thing's been on for a couple hours um, every time I use it, and I'm just trying to prevent the paint from uh, bubbling or blistering or what have you and uh, try to keep it looking as nice as I can and especially on the inside, which you'll see here in a minute. I actually ceramic coated the inside of this guard as well to try to keep the paint from fading from the heat. Basically just trying to prevent heat damage from occurring on the paint. Cause I'll tell you what, um, I've never owned a John Deere before and they really have quality paint. The paint looks absolutely amazing. It's clear coated. It looks absolutely fantastic. And I really just want to keep that look as long as I possibly can. Before I forget to say it, um, after I applied the ceramic coating, I allowed it to cure for 24 hours uh, before I followed it up with Ceramic Boost by Adams Polishes. It is a silica spray sealant that is a topper for ceramic coatings. Ceramic coatings are a little tacky um, when, you, when they're done curing and use the silica spray sealant uh, as like a detailer and it makes the paint really slick and adds a little bit of protection. And as you can see right here, the paint is so glossy on this lawnmower. Uh, very happy with that, and the ceramic coating should keep it looking like that for a long time to come. So here's where I'm kind of anal, kind of go a little bit overboard. I wanted the ceramic coat to see. I know it's just a vinyl seat. Um, I don't know. I just want to keep the you know blue jean transfer from happening on it, water getting on it, and leaving spots or anything like that, or grass sticking to it, or mud, what have you. Um, I just figured, what the heck? It's brand new. Might as well go ahead and protect the seat as well. So now on the last part of the ceramic coating, which was the whole reason I was ceramic coating in the first place. I actually planned on ceramic coating just the deck. I wasn't going to do the whole mower. I was like, you know what, if I'm going to get out and I'm going to clean this thing up and 
apply the coating to the deck, why not just apply it to all the paint? So that's why I decided to go ahead and do it. Uh, the deck takes the, ma the majority of the brunt of all the uh, damage to most mowers. If you pay attention to most mowers, the decks, especially right there where I was just at, uh, the spindle ends up having water sit on it. It gets leaves and it gets uh, grass and everything underneath it, and they start to rust. Uh, if you pay attention to most mowers out there, they are... I'm gonna sound like a mower channel. <laughs> Most mowers, the decks are usually what rust out on them. And I've noticed it a lot on John Deere's, to be honest with you. And like I said, it's my first John Deere. So when I, and I, when I got it, I was like, you know, I'm gonna make sure my deck is protected inside, uh, under the deck, on top of the deck, around the spindles, everywhere. And because, you know, decks get stepped on, they get kicked, they get run up against trees on accident or fences or rocks, they, they get damaged they really do and there's really no way around it unless you drive really slow and that's not me when i'm mowing i'm top speed at all times because i want to get it done and over with um, but protecting it was very important to me i won't use that washout as you can see right there i think that i don't think that's a great idea um, maybe i'll do a little bit more research on it but i think introducing water to the bearings on the spindles is a bad idea and i've heard other people say the same thing i could be completely wrong on that i don't know um, maybe i'll do some research like i said now at this point we're just removing it, uh, removing the coating, and the deck turned out great. It looks really glossy. Um, there is one part of this deck which is coming up. I'll show you here in just a second that I didn't see until after I got it, which is no big deal. It's just a scuff, and I wasn't like I said I wasn't gonna do a paint correction, and I just ceramic coated over it. Uh, if I want to do something with it later on, I can. Right there, that black scuff I, I pointed out. It drove me nuts after I got done. I was like, why didn't I do something with that? But other than that, look at the, look at the deck. Glossy as all get out. Looks absolutely amazing. It's gonna be completely slick. It's gonna be hydrophobic. And it just makes blowing the deck off a lot easier when I'm done mowing. Now, last but not least, the part of the mower that matters the most, the part that cuts the grass. Um, you kind of need a brand new deck to be putting a ceramic coating on it. This is something I've never done before. This is a test this is to see what could happen if I ceramic coated the deck? I'm hoping that it keeps the grass from clumping up, um, sticking to the deck, because at the end of the season, when I go and clean the decks before putting them away for, the, for winter, normally you're scraping and prying and have all these tools out, and it makes a huge mess. I'm hoping I can lift the deck up like this, take a pressure washer, pressure wash all the grass off of there, then follow it up with my leaf blower to dry it, and then it's ready to go for the next season. All right, so we are d completely done with the ceramic coating, um, and I use ceramic boost to follow it, which I probably mentioned in the voiceover. Next, we're going to protect the plastics, and we're gonna use the ceramic acrylic black wax by Turtle Wax. This stuff is fantastic on plastics, make them look brand new. Now, this obviously is brand new plastic, but I'm going to protect and preserve this plastic. That's the whole purpose of it. I could have put a ceramic coating on it, but this stuff is so easy to use. It's really good, and uh, I really recommend using it. And all we're going to do, we're just going to squirt one, squirt two. You're just going to rub it in, get it off anything you got it on like that right there. I mean, it really is that simple to use on plastics. You don't have to worry about high spots on plastics. You just rub it in. Go ahead and get them down in here in these two cup holders, which doesn't make sense. Not sure why they have two cup holders. Two people can't ride this at the same time. Talking to my son. And that's it. Oops. That's it. Plastic's ready to go. It's now protected. It'll now be hydrophobic if it gets wet. And it doesn't streak at all. It doesn't streak on paint either, but it doesn't streak on plastics. Just looks really nice. All right, you guys, it is finished. She looks absolutely amazing for a lawnmower. <laughs> uh, check it out. Looks great. Everything is ceramic coated. Of course, the sun goes in as soon as I start. Plastics look great with the turtle wax on it. Out here in the daylight, wheels look amazing. Phone's going off. Back looks good. Everything's a little dusty. I guess I should wipe that off before I come out here and go well. Never thought I'd ceramic coat a, a lawnmower, but hey, if you guys do something like that, how do you protect your lawnmowers? Let me know. Put down in the comments if, if that's the type of thing that you do.
but she sure looks really good. Now I can actually start mowing with her now she's ready to go. All right, you guys, I figured this video would just be a fun video to make for you guys. It's not something I normally do. I mean, who actually goes through and actually details a mower like that? Probably not anybody. I'm probably the only person that's ever put a ceramic coating on a lawnmower. We'll see if it helps. We'll see if it actually helps with the deck. If it doesn't help, it was worth a shot. Most people, when they get a brand new lawnmower, they just, they just go out and they mow with it. They don't, they don't really care. And that's the way I used to be with my mowers. Now, I've never owned a brand new one. This is my very first brand new mower. And I was like, I, I'm going to take care of it. And I always took care of my old ones, don't get me wrong. But being that this one was brand new, I really wanted to make sure that I get really good life out of it and uh, take really good care of it. But I'm really happy with the mower. I did mow with it as soon as I got done with the ending scene, as you guys saw with near the flagpole. Um, I did mow with it. It mowed great. It got my, it, I cut my time in half easily. Uh, it normally takes about 40 minutes to do the backyard. It took me only like 20, which is really, really good. So I'm really happy with that. But anyways, we started off with surface prep from Amos Polishes to strip off anything that may, be, may have been on the paint that they may have put on it. And then we use the ceramic coating. After that, we use the ceramic boost because when you get done using your ceramic coating, about 24 hours later, it's gonna feel a little tacky. So you, use the, you hit it with a silica spray sealant like the ceramic boost and it really smooths the paint out and leaves a nice protection on there. It lasts three to four months, if not longer. And then we use the ceramic acrylic black wax um, on the plastics and that looks absolutely fantastic. If you guys have not tried that product yet, you have to. It works so good on plastic trim and on paint. It's just absolutely fantastic. Uh, and that's about it. The mower looks good. I'm crazy for doing it. I know, but it was a cool video I figured I'd make for you guys to show you guys the new mower, what I did to it. And we'll find out, will the ceramic coating actually help clean the deck the next time I need to clean the deck? That's the biggest question. Um, and I hope it does. I hope I can keep that deck looking as nice as I can, keep the mower looking as nice as I can. So like I said, it was a different video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below this video. Hit that bell so the next time I upload a video, you get notified. And we'll see you in the next video.